Drop off looks like the permanent one too. For Epcot, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, this is awesome. It's like this, this is open. You don't need to go all the way around. Yeah, now it's a direct shot again. Awesome. Okay. Now back to the mine. Another surprise. Did not know that Art of Disney was closing. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to intro. Oh, okay. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We vlog every day, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Today we're getting popcorn. Yeah, and maybe a treat. But this Epcot has has been altered. Yes. You will find Epcot much altered. I am venturing into mouse gear as Peter gets popcorn. So we had showed you guys that we did indeed find the cuff, but now the plate that we want isn't anywhere. But I think I saw that it was here recently. So I'm hoping that mouse gears will save the day. Nope. I totally forgot that we had already checked mouse gear. We have to check the port of entry merchandise locations. I also forget which door I came in. So. Hopefully I figure it out so I don't have to walk like crazy around. Look at this. Look at this. Popcorn. But most importantly, look Here's at that the beauty. Every time I'm like at a different park, that tree is my favorite. No luck here either. This park is dark. Like park in Delphi anymore. Yeah, it's really, it's really not crowded at all. It's really nice. Almost already for another round of popcorn. So it's Pat Sajak tonight for the candlelight processional, so we're gonna try and get a spot for that. Unless everybody is in the park, but they're all at Pat Sajak. Alright, so we're traversing World Showcase. We really haven't done Festival of the Holidays. Literally, we haven't ever. seen it. We were here the other day with Steve, but that was like before anything was active. And we were in a rush. We were just like at the DBC lounge. And then we realized today there's not a single vegan option. There's one cookie. But that's not an option for like food. That's a that's a sweet treat. Yeah. That's so not like substance. We're thinking about getting something else. Yeah. Maybe Morocco. Yeah. Falafel. Maybe a pretzel from Germany. Sarah's look, was searching if the America Pavilion Quick Service was open. Oh, I am. I thought that's the truth. Oh. All right. One hour till showtime. So we're gonna hop in line here and wait out. Yes, two. And I think the other candlelight is ending now. So we're gonna search for some food options. I think Sarah will go venture out and get it. I have a taste for jalapenos. Oh, I have a taste for, uh, um, I keep wanting to say noodle gratin, but it's not that, it's the uh, Schopenhauer. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I found it. And I'm pretty sure these are working. So many changes since we've been here. I am gonna check out the line. It might be too soon to the show for me to go and get us food now. There was something going on. It took forever for them to be able to check me out. Um, Cause it's such a little kiosk. I am, this is like truly so lucky that I found this. Um, so we'll see how busy it is in Tangerine Cafe. And then I'll either make a call to wait for food or maybe just go get a pretzel and get back in line. I don't know where Sarah went, but she's been gone long and it's very cold now. And a storm is brewing. <laughs> Hopefully she's back soon and I think we'll let us in soon because it's gonna start pouring. We need to get it I took the risk. Yeah. The line moved fast and they have two registers open. So I have heard this in the past that sometimes the distributor of the pita will have uh, like their pitas will have dairy in them and that is the case right now. So I'm getting chips instead of pita and then they're gonna give me some extra hummus too. Um, so always ask if you're interested in that. 
So getting here super early doesn't do too much considering that's all dining package and special packaging. And I also still don't know where Sarah is, but Steve just texted me a photo of the radar and it's about to downpour here in about 20 minutes. Like severe storm. Holy ravioli. Look at all this food. It is starting to rain and I have like 15 minutes until this show, so I gotta get going. Look at that rain and lightning coming in and she finally made it. What do you have in the bag? It's about to come down. Look you at all this deliciousness. Closer? They wouldn't let us. Um, I found the plate. You did? Yeah. And there's lentils on there. That's I was just I, jonesing for lentils. That's why this took so long. Oh, okay. thank you. It's literally, I'll show you the radar, Steve. We'll put in the radar here that Steve sent, but it looks bad. 12 seconds later. Dedication or stupidity? Pouring rain, soggy chips, soggy lentils, soggy forehead. It's fun. It's worth it. Maybe it'll be a Christmas miracle and it'll pass. It's just getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> they just announced it. It's canceled. Not without us getting super duper soggy. If not, then this Florida rainstorm sopping wet. I don't even know. Like, I think we just have to go home now. Park. Yeah, we should bring that because it's all soggy. Here, if you hand it to me, I'll carry it and I can show how gross it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is our dinner. Well, Epcot, we tried to enjoy Christmas. We did get our plate, we could yeah. Come back tomorrow. We could come back tomorrow, but we also need to get an oil change. It's, aye, aye, aye. it's crunch time. You guys know. Put your phone away. It's waterproof. Know, um, you guys know we don't stop for the rain, but this time Epcot stopped for the rain, so. I don't know if there's anything else for us to do except for the home because it's. Wait, we have fast pass for. Um, we are absolutely drenched and I'm standing in a puddle and it's not letting up. Oh! <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is something. Here we go. Look at the people. Look at everybody. Everybody's leaving. Everybody has ponchos on. Everybody has ponchos on except for us and this fellow right here. <laughs> it's fun though. It was pouring, like, I have not seen rain since August, right. July. It's been pretty dry here. It has been. And, like, it was so bad. We were just, like, laughing. Like, yeah. it's so funny. And the people behind us were laughing at us because they were all <laughs> we're, Right. And we're sitting there with a tray <laughs> eating <laughs> olives and hummus and chips <laughs> and salad as the, as the chips exactly. are getting soggier. And the, oh. Uh, we could have used the tray. <laughs> Even in the rain, when we're nice and soggy. Sarah goes. <laughs> Can we take a picture? Yeah. Come on, we gotta put it on our Instagram. Oh, I didn't realize this was presented by Advent House. Oh. <laughs> Benefit of the rainy night is looking at some cool lights right there. Look at that. Sarah just. I'm in my Tiba so I can trudge through the the puddles, but Sarah just trudged through a big puddle in her boots. Luckily we parked pretty close and yeah, we can I crank can the heat. Like I have water retained in my boots. <laughs> Whoa, lightning. The car in front of us is just blinking its lights. Wow. We made it. Shelter. We made it. Oh my gosh. We, we, have, the, go we have the heat. Going. Yeah, it got really, really chilly too. Oh my God. Look at this outside. This, these people lost their car. Oh. It's so foggy. It's drizzly. All right, we're home. I haven't yet to see the plate yet. But Sarah is unwrapping it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. And I was worried that it was gonna have like something wrong with it, but I really checked it. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's the perfect Santa milk and cookies set. So you could do cookies and some carrots for the reindeer. Yeah. And some almond milk over there. Picturesque. Thanks for finding it, Sarah. Yeah, that was like meant to be. Wow. The last one. I love how it's a city, it's not a castle. I love this, the little O, same thing as the Joy with the, yeah, I love it. 
I think I think we're gonna watch a Christmas movie or maybe the morning show or something. But I'm gonna crack open this two pound peppermint stick. Mm -hmm. I am. Wait for it. We went with Christmas of the Cranks. We've actually never watched it before. There it is. Syrup, turn it on the Christmas tree. I think it's set in Chicago. I think it is too. I think that the Earhart's are going to be upset at us for never seeing this before. I think they like this. But they'll be happy we are watching it now. And Eva's resting on the couch with us. Today's the 17th. Tomorrow's the 18th. That means a week from Christmas. Today's the 17th, and today's message is by Kurt Vonnet. To practice any art, no matter how well or badly, is a way to make your soul grow. So do it. All right, it's almost one in the morning. We fall asleep on the couch again, so we're gonna get ready for bed. I love you guys. It's almost time for us to go to Chicago. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.